Hi Sagittarius and a very warm welcome to your November 2019 horoscope. It's your birthday time. Very exciting, November is early Sag and then next month we'll have more of you Sages. So this is always an opportunity for a rebirth of self. And it's particularly pertinent this month because on the first of the month until the 21st, we've got Mercury going retrograde. And Mercury rules communications, technology, transportation. For you, this Mercury retrograde is happening in your 12th house. So this is a wonderful opportunity to complete anything. Anything that's been in process could be a deal, could be uh, something you've been negotiating for a while, whatever has been ongoing during Mercury retrograde, it's a great time for bringing it to fruition. It's not the best time for getting into something new. And especially if you need to sign a contract or an important document, if you can wait till after the retrograde, all the better. If not, just make sure you check it really carefully and maybe have somebody else uh, have another pair of eyes over it just to make sure. Mercury retrograde is not such a, a terrible thing. It's just that it can mean that you have to repeat something, do it over, which can be a little tedious. So that's how to use it more constructively. In the 12th house, this is a great time for reassessing, am I spending enough time alone, peacefully, in nature? Am I getting in touch with my inner being, my internal self? And if I don't feel I'm doing enough of that, how can I change that so that this coming year I have enough balance between my outgoing world and also my inner connection with my soul, my deeper being. It's about bringing balance to the two. And you may do it through being in nature, through being with animals, through being near water, through writing, journaling, meditating, yoga. There are many ways of getting in touch with this. And it's important that you discover your unique way. On the second of the month, yeah, Venus, ruling love and money, comes into your sign, Sagis, uh, resonating there with Jupiter in your sign. This is just lovely. A wonderful opportunity to uh, do something to pamper yourself, to nurture yourself. Something that makes you feel good, that's uplifting. Venus in your sign is good for relationships, good for meeting somebody special, good for just bringing peace and harmony into all your interactions. On the 12th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your sixth house, resonating there with Uranus. Uh, this may be a job situation coming to a head, something coming to fruition. Maybe you've been applying for jobs and you finally get something or you get another interview or some news. It's also shining a light on your work direction. Do you feel as though your work is going in the direction you'd like it? Or would you like to make some changes? Sometimes the full moon shows you what's not working in order to awaken you to make some new choices. The moon in this sixth house, maybe it's time for some changes physically, some adjustments to your daily habits, your daily routines. Are you doing things daily that are supportive to your physical well-being? And if not, what changes do you need to make? Maybe to your diet, exercise, thinking about your physical body. Are you thinking positive thoughts and possibilities? On the 20th, Mars coming into the 12th. Important when Mars is in the 12th to make sure you are expressing your frustrations, things that purr. Yes, sometimes when Mars sits in the 12th, it may mean that you are holding them in. Not that you normally do, Sag, is you're a fire sign and you can usually speak out, but just be extra aware 
of getting rid of certain tensions of the day. Maybe it just involves stretching or jumping up and down or skipping or dancing, just to get that energy moving so it doesn't stagnate inside of you. And on the 23rd of the month, yay, the sun coming into your sign. And on the 26th, a lovely new moon in Sag. So it's all happening this last week of the month in your sign. New beginning for you. What would you like for this year? What are your dreams and wishes? What would you like in every life area? Relationships, work, business, finance, family, home. This is all up for a renewal and opportunities to create something new and nourishing. There you have it, my lovely Sages. You might want to have a personal reading to see what this month holds for you and also look at the year ahead and how you can make best use of the planetary energies. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.